Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. Today, I want to talk about the results of last week's court ruling that claims Google has an illegal monopoly when it comes to its online search division. Just, Just in, in case, case you missed it, last week, a judge in the United States ruled that Google violated antitrust laws by spending billions of dollars to create an illegal monopoly with its web search engine. It's surprising that it has taken the courts this long to finally make some progress, especially considering how many times Google has been hit by fine after fine in the EU. And it wasn't so much that Google created such a great service since most people would agree that using a competing product like Bing or DuckDuckGo gives less useful results. And it's more about how Google has been paying companies like Apple and Firefox to make its search engine the default option. But Google has said they plan on appealing the decision, so we'll have to see how that pans out from here. So where do we go from here? The Department of Justice in the United States says they have a few options to go with. The first and most impactful would be to split Google from its parent company, Alphabet. This would give Alphabet less incentive to spend its extra profit on making Google search the default option. Since Alphabet is a public company, its shareholders wouldn't allow for such spending. But the Justice Department could also go another route, one that would force Google to share its search data with its competitors in the market, and while also initiating measures that would prevent it from gaining an unfair advantage with its AI products. Then again, another path they could take would be to divest the Android operating system from Alphabet, which would help to break the leverage Google has since it is the most used operating system in the world. Lastly, officials are also said to be thinking about forcing Alphabet to sell AdWords and to divest its Chrome web browser, all of which help Alphabet when it comes to making its search engine anti-competitive. Now it will be interesting to see how all of this pans out though. As we have seen antitrust regulators sue the likes of Meta, Amazon, and Apple over the last four years for monopolistic actions in their own right. And we haven't seen any major results from any of those lawsuits yet. But this is a long game. The court system in the United States can be slow and take up tons of resources. As we already have to wait and see how the current appeal process plays out before this initial ruling is cemented in stone. Personally, I've been so tired of seeing the quality of Google search go downhill as they've tried to pack the results with ads so their AdWords division can rake in more money. I miss the days of simple blue link search results and would rather not see AI summaries become the new norm. But I do understand the value that Google thinks they need to create by leveraging AI while also keeping spammers and affiliate websites from ruining the search experience. So I would like to hear what you think down in the comment section below. Are you happy with the idea that Alphabet could be forced to divest Google search into its own company? Or would you rather see products like Android, Chrome, and AdWords sold or split apart from the parent company? And please don't forget to like this video while also subscribing to it to the channel 
as it helps to see feedback like this.